Hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Knight's Kingdom review, and probably my last for now. Will I ever get others in the future? Possibly. And this one is on uh, the Scorpion Prison Cave from 2005, of course. And so on the front of the back of the manual, see Lego Little Girl, that blue border that stuck around from 2003 through 5, of course, and also, Knight's Kingdom logo, and also a picture of the whole set that there is, and set number 8876. And on the back, add for Lego Shop at Home. And add for some of the other uh, system sets from the time, and add of all the construction figure sets, which I will review for Throwback Thursday in the future. And then also out of Lego Club, and also uh, let me see. So the last building steps, and then also this little comic strip of the storyline of it. If you want to look at any of this, pause the video. And first page of which, which has the map of Morsian. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Had it upside down, but it's actually a map of Morsian and kind of listing off the sets in it as well. Now on to the mini okay. it's included in this. So like as you can see as we have, which have Jacob which did come in the King Siege set and just about the same as for that. But also we get Denju, of which but year two version, and just like the others of this wave, does have his a new armor piece of which, or armor piece of which, kind of similar to the last year's version, but at least done well. And also helmet piece of, or the mask piece of which, same as that as well. Also, same face print as that one as well, and also do you get a great helmet piece instead of probably purple, which it was for the 2004 versions, and so whatever. And next to which is Year Two version Vladic, which the uh, mask piece of which same as the 2004 and six versions did. And also, same armor piece as well, but, and of course, with the scorpion print on it as well. And also, the others did have the, like, classic uh, uh, shield pieces with some neat printing prints to them. And his, which also a different kind of shield piece, but with the scorpion print on it. But also, the face print of which, also kind of the same as the other versions did, but... Also, dark red uh, helmet piece instead of black, like the other versions did. And also, you get the like evil scorpion knight, of which, but just only one in this set. Also, would have been nice if there was more than one, or a second as well, since good to have for army building, of course. And and last fig of which is the classic skeleton piece, but the kind with the wobbly arms instead of postable arms but it's kind of but it's just there for a throw-in display gag as as you'll see but also no back uh, torso print or double side faces since these are older figures of course And 
first off for the mini builds is to get the classic horse piece, which put this uh, horse head cover piece in blue, like in the like jousting set from the year prior, and whereas everything else kind of basic for that. But of course, pulls the neck of which, at least until in 2013, when they're with the Lone Ranger line, they're also at the back poseable legs as well, of course. And of course, enough space to fit your Jayco fig into. And so now, and of course, one of the under dome pieces just has a holder for a pair of the cylinders and other side which, which is kind of an interesting complex mini build for a small thing where it's a few Technic builds and also probably the classic frying pot or boiling pot piece in it where you can stick it in and it's a capital. Oh, whoops. And you can watch off like so. Oh, it's quite fun, that is. And that is it with that. What else included is this mini scorpion bill. Yeah, this mini scorpion bill. Which, quite basic of that. Like, of course, the pinchers made of the magnet holder pieces, and also three points of movement, or five, including the swivel claws and swivel upper parts. So, of course, and all of four of its legs do swivel around, and body, which is quite basic with the Technic bricks, of course, and a pair of trans orange studs for eyes, of course, and a few separate studs enough to fit your uh, Shadow Knight onto. And although it would have been nice if there were some other pieces to attach onto these or red pin or red axle rods, but or maybe that'd be a little too much. And as for the tail of which, also quite simple and basic, or just three uh, ratchet joint pieces. It was acting, and of course it's single tooth piece in silver, are kind of nice. But although it would be nice if could like just have a few extra plates to let it stick down a little more. Of course, first, but yeah. And that is about it with those two mini builds. And now onto the uh, scorpion cave itself. Which, as you can see, was quite an impressive build for it. And of course, this was probably like thirty, forty dollars at the time. But if nowadays, adjusted with inflation, would probably put it like fifty or so. So of course, this is kind of a sign of the times, but. Why so large is a few large bulky pieces is all over, of course. It's like in this little section. Oh, it's one of those classic, classic column piece, castle column pieces, and also a little luckily rock piece, and also castle top power or top part piece in black. Of course, and also classic spirit piece as well, off to the side, of course. And you can like swivel in and outward. So you can like position it like that, or like that, or even like that, however you want. And as for this lower hat part piece, which as you see is just a pair of big ugly rock pieces in brown, of course, to represent various terrains, of course, and also a pair of torches there and also, the classic fence pieces acting as the gate. And if you look onto the back, as you can see, this big empty hollow space, which enough to put the scorpion and on into a course.
also that part, which also from the back, also quite lacking, but at least, at least enough space to put a fig into a course. And if you look from the front to which, then the rest of this front part also has another one of those castle calling pieces, and also other castle wall piece in black, quite nice. And what this connected to this chain is for is for you to when you turn that, it lifts the gate up and release the scorpion in, of which quite a nice feature that a course. And for this upper area, another one of those pieces and around a few more of the castle top park pieces and and also just like in the battle wagon set is the scorpion flag pieces is of that thin film material and held on lances. And also get a little stairway that leads to this high up part, of which with another one of them catapult pieces, but also with transorant cylinders to represent them on fire. Turn my wing off like so. And also this one, of course, is the classic smiley skull piece, obviously. And also on this side, which is a little hanging cage piece with just four of those ladder pieces and long calling pieces, of course, where you can fit, of which on the cover, which says can fit Danju into, and also, of course, has these like uh, classic, classic space uh, robot arms holding a flame piece on, too. Of course, quite nice, that is either him or the skeleton into as well or simply just anywhere to, to of course work out as a skeleton gag if you want and of course plenty enough space to fit anything you want onto a course uh, let's see Okay. And so now on to the final verdict. But overall, this is which a quite cool set for the year of 2005, of course. Well, like also quite large for the price of it, but well, mainly because of the largest pieces, of course. But at least it's kind of a sign of the times where. You got something big and cool for a good price, of course. Oh, also forgot to mention is a little handle piece. Probably also where you can put your skeleton fig on to a course, but yeah. But anyways, also do you get good selection of mini figs, but although it would have been nice if they also could have included uh, another one of the knights, but or at least did include Denju, which is a good thing. Although it would be nice to also include around probably one or two more of the Shadow Knights, of course. Or maybe that would have been a little too much, but at least it can kind of go alongside the Battle Wagon from this wave, obviously, and yeah. And so now if you still have this set from back then, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And for if you missed out on it and still can, and if you can afford it on second hand, of which uh, definitely get it if you would like it, like eBay Bricklink, whatever. And that's it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.